this is cooking with Tiff, y'all. It's been a minute. I know it. I had some things going on in December, so I kind of like took off. I'm sorry I disappointed y'all, but guess what? I'm back, and you know I never stay wrong. The day what I got for y'all, I'm going to go on and do that good old carrot cake. I being told y'all back in November that I was going to do. So we finna get caught up in some New Year's 2019, baby. And I'm coming to your full force. Is y'all ready? Because I'm ready, y'all. Okay? So let's get right on into this because I'm tired. I've been working. I got my camera girl, Lily, filming me again today, y'all. And I feel a little under the weather, but I got to bring this to y'all, okay? So again, we finna do a homemade carrot cake. What I have here is two cups of all-purpose flour right here, okay? To my flour, I'm going to add two teaspoons, well, a tablespoon of baking soda, y'all. A tablespoon of baking soda to your all-purpose flour. And I'm using all-purpose flour because I'm out of my cake flour. So you can use either or. It don't matter. So that's a tablespoon of baking soda. And then I need a teaspoon, uh, teaspoon of salt. Get my teaspoon of salt. We're going to put that in there too. Sift that down. There we go. So, you're going to sift your flour, your baking soda, and your salt together. Like this here, y'all. Okay. Again, that's two cups of all-purpose flour, a tablespoon of baking soda, and a, a teaspoon of salt. Sift it together. Okay. Now, I'm going to take... I need to get me a cup of sugar. And ain't nothing on here but flour, y'all, for me putting it in that bowl. So, we're going to do a cup of sugar. Oh. Okay. And then, we're going to do a cup of brown sugar. I'm going to lightly pack that in there so you can get the right amount, okay? Like the packet. Get the pinch off. Bam. So you got a cup of brown sugar and a cup of white sugar, y'all. We're going to add that. Bam. Okay. Then we need a cup and one fourth of canola western oil, y'all. Canola Western oil. A cup and one fourth, y'all. I'm just setting that up there so I can make sure I measure it right. Okay, yeah. Bam. So, we're going to pull that off in here. On this here sugar. Yes, baby. Okay. Oh, and also to your flour mixture, you're going to take um, some cinnamon. You're going to add the cinnamon to it, okay? And how much cinnamon I know I'm putting here? Okay, you're going to do a teaspoon and a half of cinnamon. So this is my half a teaspoon here. And then we need a teaspoon, full teaspoon now. Matter of fact, it's about that amount, so I just shake all that in there. So that's a teaspoon and a half of your cinnamon. And we'll put that off in the light, so. Yeah, there we go. And we're going to take this sugar and brown sugar. And your whistle oil, and we're gonna use it together. If my thing wanna work right. The hell? Is it the plug? Yeah. Okay. And we're gonna freeze this together, y'all.
got the cream mix. Put a bounce bite like butter, y'all. It's like, just like the red bear cake. Cream this real good, okay? Make sure they heard me. Look at my camera, girl. So, with this oil, white sugar, brown sugar, we're going to cream it up. And you know it got to come bite like butter, baby. Just like that red baby cake, okay? So, y'all just follow along. I ain't adding nothing. I ain't cutting nothing out. I'm going to show you my time and my patience that I put into my food because it's all about love, y'all. All right? Let's get it cracking. <laughs> having her viewing tomorrow and her feeling her on Wednesday so I am think I'm gonna take this cake over there to her mama give her something sweet to cheer up a little bit y'all but like I say it's 2019 life goes on and I gotta get myself together and uh I need y'all to help with help tip because I do this but I'm learning everything as I go along y'all okay so that's, that's what I've been up to, dealing with different things in my life. And that kind of threw me for a loop with my best friend, you know? It hurt. But hey, I know she will want me to do what I gotta do and be happy, you know? We 
we're gonna get this carrot cake going. Let me turn the bike on high for a little while, y'all. There it goes. You gotta have four eggs, y'all. So I'ma drop four eggs into my my sugar, my brown sugar, and my oil. Four eggs, y'all. Carrots over there till I'm ready for them. So again, you can pre-crack yours in a cup or whatever, just not to get no oil. Egg shell in your stuff, but I always just do mine like that, y'all. One egg, we're gonna put up second. together y'all ain't gonna hurt it bam okay Now, normally when I do this carrot cake, I use vanilla flavor. I was out of the pure vanilla extract. So, what I'm going to use today is almond extract because I'm going to use pecans and walnuts and raisins and the carrots in here. So, I feel like that's going to pair well with that. So, if you don't have the vanilla, use almond. 
okay? So let me go a little bit. Let me see. And you want to put a teaspoon of that in there. Bam, right on time. So I use almond flavor versus vanilla flavor. But it's going to do the same thing, y'all. But like I say, I know it's dirty wrong. But this over here until I do the icing. Okay, let's see.
y'all. You gotta whip it and whip it and whip it. Yes, baby. like butter like the red velvet do because that uh brown sugar gonna keep it a little loose but as long as you don't see that oil film on top of your uh mixture you can go ahead and start adding in your uh flour okay so we're gonna take half the flour and add in here just half then we'll do the other half okay so like i said that was two cups of all-purpose flour with a tablespoon of baking soda and a teaspoon and a half of uh salt. No, it was a teaspoon and a half of cinnamon, a teaspoon of salt, and uh a tablespoon of baking soda. And go ahead and add this uh, flour in here. Incorporated. Go on the edge of the other half. This cake gonna be awesome. Awesome sauce, y'all. So once you do that, get your flour all mixed up in there good. That's it. All that's going to do now. Okay, so that's good. 
that's good right there. So now what I'm finna do. You need you three cups of grated fresh carrots. Look at me, camera gear. Do not, I repeat, do not go get them carrots that's already shredded up. They dry, they nasty, they be hard in your cake. Please get you some fresh carrots, you peel them, and then you, you grate them up. And make you get three cups of it. So you probably need like four large uh carrots, okay? So we're going to take the carrots and dump them off in here. Like I said, that's three cups of carrots, y'all. Freshly grated up carrots, okay? And then we're going to add... A cup of pecans and a cup of walnuts. Walnuts. And a cup of raisins, okay? So it's a couple walnuts, a couple pecans, and a couple raisins that we add to this. Okay, you get my raisins. Ugh. Take the spatula and you're gonna fold all them ingredients right there in. Your carrots, three cups, your walnuts, your uh pecans, and your raisins. A cup each, y'all. This is gonna be a dynamite carrot cake, okay? Then we're gonna put them in some pans, bake them at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes, y'all. Yes. Come on, who with me? Who with me? Who with me? Like burning mat, y'all. Who is it? <laughs> yes, this all you do to this carrot cake, y'all. That is ready to go in some pans, okay? I'm gonna get my pans. We're gonna put this off in there. Again, bake it at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes, y'all. Then let it cool. And then we're gonna put icing. And y'all know how we do our icing. One stick of butter. One eight ounce of cream cheese. And a cup of Confederate sugar and a tablespoon of flavor. That's all you need for the icing. Y'all seen the icing on my previous video, but I'm doing a cream cheese icing, y'all. So that's eight ounces of cream cheese, a cup of Confederate sugar, a stick of pure butter, and a tablespoon of flavor. A teaspoon of flavor, however you want to put it. But that's ready to go in some pans, y'all. Let me get all this out of my way. I got to wash them dishes. Yes, I do. So we got three layer pans, y'all. These like nine, nine and a half inch pans. So we got our cheap sheet, our cheap sheet right here with the spray. Spray them down real good. Yes. Then y'all can eyeball this. Or you can measure in a cup and a cup, all that. But I'm just poet today. I ain't got time to be taking a cup, doing it all like that. So we just finna put this batter in some pans. There you go. Scoop you a little bit here. Scoop you a little bit here. A little bit in that one. So 
Some more in there. Some more in there. Ugh. This is going to be your carrot cake. Yes, indeedy. Yes, indeedy. Then spread them around. Get them even. Well, I do need to take some out of here. Cause this one kind of skimp. There you go. And again, we're going to bake this in the oven for 30 minutes. About 30, 35 minutes. On 350 degrees, y'all. So, let me get this in the oven. Let it bake. And I'll be back with y'all, okay? All right, now. Okay, y'all. I'm back. I done took my cakes out the oven. I done inserted my stick. Everything came out clear. So, these are cooling. They soft and moist. So, I got to let these cool down completely, y'all. So, what I'm going to do now is make the cream cheese icing. I told y'all what go in and now I'm going to show you. But if you look at them other cakes, you already see me make this cream cheese uh, icing before. But I'm going to do it again for you, okay? So we got one stick of unsalted room temperature butter. That's going to go in here. You're going to cream your butter to 8 ounces of cream cheese. Okay? And as y'all can see again, I am up under the weather. I don't feel good. But guess what? Tip had to come with come give you something. You know? Oh my god. I'm glad this is. Oh my god. Y'all just don't know. My head is so stuffy. It be cold one day, hot the next. The weather don't know what it won't do. Then it was raining Friday. So that done knocked me down, y'all. I can get this open. Okay, so an uh, eight ounce of cream cheese to one stick of pure room temperature butter. I'm going to cream that together. Add some of that confederate sugar. I'm sorry, confectionery. However you say it. Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I know y'all going to clown me, but it's all good. Hey, <laughs> Okay, so we got that in now. Okay, so we're gonna cream this here together. So they go a cup. I'm gonna just put a little bit more so I can have a little bit more icing. Matter of fact, I'm gonna just do these two cups because that's gonna be the end of this. So there's two cups of the powdered sugar, y'all. And I'm going to add half a teaspoon. I'm going to put lemon in my icing because I ain't want to put that almond in it. Because like I said, I ran out of my, my um, vanilla flavor. So this lemon going to do just fine. Like 
like that. All you gotta do is add your little milk, a buttermilk, it don't matter. Let me see. My little thing, so I'm just adding a little milk to it. A little buttermilk. Right there, loosen it up. That's about a tablespoon right there, y'all. That's all you need. And it's ready, y'all. Only thing I gotta do now, mmm, that's good. Let's wait on my cake to fill in cooling. Then we're gonna ice in this cake and we're gonna have us a nice old carrot cake, y'all. So, this is cooking with tilt. When them cakes get done cooling, we're gonna ice it and we're gonna slice it. And I'm gonna show y'all what we're working with. I'll be back at you, okay, y'all. I'm back. This is the finishing product of the carrot cake, y'all. I went on and icing it real good with the icing I made up. And I just sprinkled some walnuts on top, y'all. So let me go on and cut this here so I can show y'all what I'm working with, right? Because y'all know tip and never stay wrong. So let me show you what we got going on. Then I want y'all to get out there and make it on your own and tell me how it is, all right? All right, now. I'm going to cut this here. Get a steady hand. Ooh. Show y'all how the cake be. Oh, it's so soft. It's falling apart, y'all. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. Oh, I need a spatula. Look at that. It's so moist. It's falling apart off that part. Unless I just ain't cut it right. It's all good in the hood. Get the rest of my cake crumbs. Put this in the sink. <laughs> The fault right here, y'all. Y'all see how moist this cake is? Look at that fault. Just bouncing off in that cake, y'all. Look at that. Mm, 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 mm. I'm finna try this here, y'all. Oh, Lord. Mm. Man, look at him. Y'all know I like my food. Y'all go ahead and keep it. Subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend. Y'all keep watching Cooking with Tilt because I'll never stay wrong, baby. I'm going to get off in this cake. Until next time, y'all have a blessed day and take it easy. Peace. <laughs>